Today we're talking about rolling pie dough, and I know it can be a bit of a daunting task, but I've got a foolproof way of doing it. I honestly believe there is no bad pie dough recipe out there, but I firmly believe there's a lot of bad pie dough rollers. I'm using two sheets of parchment paper and I'm rolling my dough between those pieces of parchment paper. It will allow me to move the dough a lot on my work surface. This is where everybody falls into that sort of trap. You make this great pie dough and then you drown your work surface in extra flour so that it won't stick. That's just making your dough tougher and tougher. By rolling it between these pieces of parchment paper, we're not gonna have that problem. We will have much more control and we'll be able to transport it however we need. Let's get started. I have two pieces of parchment paper. I'm putting one on my surface and I'm going to take the tiniest little amount of flour. My pie dough, a little bit more flour. That's all I'm using. Sandwich your dough between the two pieces of parchment paper. Now, anytime you're rolling, you should never go off the edge of your dough only roll right to the edge. The purpose of rolling is to stretch it out on the surface. So I'm starting by just mashing a little bit in the middle. And I'm gonna turn and mash again. I haven't even rolled yet, I'm just mashing. Now, think like a compass. North, south, east, west, and the angles. Roll forward, backward. Turn, forward, notice I'm really putting my back into it. Backwards, and now on the angles. Just keep it flat, don't worry. I am using pie dough that is nice and cold. It came right out of the refrigerator. I didn't even let it temper. So now I can flip it over, and I'm gonna pull back the parchment just so that it's not sticky and place it right back on, flip it over again, pull back the parchment, put it right back on again. And now we lather, rinse, repeat. North, south, turn, north, and south. Put your back into it, and then on the angle. Turn again, and on the angle. Now I'm gonna pull it back so we can take a look at it and go, I need to concentrate a little bit more right here and a little bit more right here. And as you can see, I can kind of see through it. Pull this back. And now my final set of rolling is just to make it round enough for what I'm going to need. So concentrate your energy in those specific places where it wasn't quite round. See how easily I can move my pie dough wherever I need it to go? I've used essentially zero flour for this, so I haven't made my dough any tougher. Now I can pull back, check the size that I need, and take my pie dough wherever I need to go. It's ready to line my pans. And it's a breeze. And that's just the tip. I hope that helped. Like, subscribe, and comment below. Let me know what tips do you need.